Now the way Packet Tracer works is that we can just set up a device on here, get onto that device, and then start configuring it via the command line interface. However, that's not quite what's going to happen in the real world. Instead, what you're going to have is something like a router or a switch, and you're going to have to connect a computer into it. You're going to have to connect a console cable into it. And when we console into that device, then we would use the command line interface to configure that device. So in this video, let's take a look at how we could emulate that or mimic that on Packet Tracer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by creating a device that I'm going to I'm going to connect into. So maybe I want to connect into a switch. So I'm going to select the switches and maybe we'll do a 2960. I'm going to have to configure it using an end device. So let's just use a PC here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a console cable to do this. So I'm going to click on this console cable right here. I'm going to select the PC. I'm going to choose the RS-232. That's the serial interface that we're going to connect into this switch. And then it's going to connect into the console cable here. From here, now I want to get onto the PC and bring up a terminal so that way I can start configuring this switch. So I'm going to select the PC. I'm going to go to the desktop and select the terminal program. And once I, I have to select the uh, different configurations that I want for this port, which is 9600891, which is by on here by default. So I'm good to go. I'm going to click on OK. And now I am on the switch. Now, I, all I have to do, and actually what I have to do for this to really pop up on actual equipment is hit enter, but it automatically has brought it up on here because this is just simulating it and it's simulating it a little bit wrong actually. <laughs> so anyways, I'm on this device, I can hit enter. Now I'm on the switch. I can start programming it, doing my programs to configure it any way that I want to configure it. So. Maybe I want to change the host name to this to S1, and now it's set to S1. 